How's it going, everybody? This is Frank Avone. I'm Doug Quimby. I'm Scott Hanna. And we are doing board games with band members. But today, since Scott Hanna plays video games, we are playing video games with band members. What a uh, better game than uh, actually playing a board game on the Nintendo Switch, which is Super Mario Party, latest uh, Mario Party out of uh, Nintendo's repertoire of games. Uh, we want to thank you very much for being on uh, just the, the podcast, Scott. Absolutely. Yeah, thank thanks you. for having me. Let's get this game started. Scott, who are you? You are... Luigi. Am Luigi. I'm Hammer, bro. And I bro. am Wario. Used to be uh, a Diddy Kong, maybe a Donkey Kong guy, because uh, he has the 10 dice, but... Mm -hmm. uh, Wario's got his, uh, he's got his quirks. Well, I mean, you he's see won me it? a couple of games as of recent. I was on like a losing streak with Doug. I probably was like two and forty against Doug and his girlfriend. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Hitting my ass. <laughs> oh, see, I like the thing is with the Donkey do Donkey Kong dice, um, is that like it does have the, like the two uh, tens, but it also has the rest of the ones are like very low numbers. Yeah. What are they like? Ze one's a zero, maybe. Like yeah, probably ones and zeros. So we so, got four different maps here. I'm gonna go over to our, all right, here we go. So we got Womps, Domino Ruins, we got King Kong, uh, King Bombs, uh, Powder Cake Mine, Mega Fruit Paradise, and Kamek's uh, Tantalizing Tower. This oh. one's a cool one, because you, uh, the whole point is you go up the board mm -hmm. and uh, you're always getting stars and it. You end up getting like 20 stars sometimes, which is cool. Wow. Um, and then, yeah, it's uh, the only one where the star doesn't move. It's in the stationary spot. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. cool. They all have their perks, but uh, anyone specific maybe you want to play? Let's try this one. Try it out? Yeah, all right. right, cool. Pay 10 turns, ten yeah. 10 turns. And the cool thing is we probably put out, put about 155 hours into this game, so <laughs> 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 it was, uh, you know, cold winter, and yeah. uh, but it's it was uh, totally worth it. So. Nice. And it's a very social game. You know, oh, it's yeah. like you're sitting, there would be all, all of us sitting together, just like chatting up, having a good time, you know, it's mm -hmm. an amazing game. We're going to skip uh, the first time playing, you're, mm -hmm. a, you're a Mario Party legend. <laughs> <laughs> if you start on the 64, that's, I've, that's... I've lost probably half of the games that I've played, at least, if not more. So you've lost some friends, too. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> So uh, we first knew you from, uh, as Scott from Capital Zen. Mm -hmm. What now? Bring us back. What got you into the band? You, I know you were playing music before. Yeah. And how old were you when you first started playing with them? Oh, let's see. Uh, I was about it was about ten years ago. So I was about twenty five. Um, I had been asked to record keys on uh, like the debut album album because like there had been some releases and stuff that they had put out before awesome um but it was the first time like that we were do like we had somebody else record it we had it mastered and stuff like that cool. um so they asked me to record keys for that and then uh they ended up asking me to join the band because then it didn't make sense to not have the keys for the songs <laughs> that we just uh, recorded them for and then um we went on and you know started playing a lot in the area regionally um, we never got too far outside the area. I think the farthest west we ended up playing was like Buffalo. Oh, okay. Um, but it was, you know, we opened for Aqueous out there a couple of times, and they opened up for us out here a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's yeah. sweet. Time cool. changes. Yeah, you know, time changes I know, things. It's crazy. <laughs> and that was that. Was Love that... to see those guys, man. <laughs> so, so with this, uh, all you have to do is hit I, A. Mm -hmm. But um, so now with that, that first album, that was was that an album before uh, Fancy Balloon Animals? Uh, yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Yep. That was the point where I was just adding stuff. That was the self-titled Capital Zen. Cool. Um, and then for Fancy Balloon Animals, Terry and I, like we, we all recorded together, but Terry and I like kind of locked ourselves in a, uh, in the storage room at the music store we were working at at the time. Oh, cool. And, um, we, we had a Power Mac G5 with the Power PC processor and we had like the last version of Logic that they released that was still compatible with that. And it was still like unsupported, so we were like working, you know, yeah, as, yeah. as rogue as we could on this <laughs> thing to try to do it. We built a vocal booth out of an Easy Up, and uh, it was just a really good experience recording that album. And Terry and I just OCD'd it into existence, basically. That's <laughs> awesome. That's <laughs> we went sweet. in, we were just edit, edit, you know, making sure all the sounds are right, and yeah, you know, all everything was in its right place. And you guys even brought in horns. There was a, a yeah. what was a... that was an interesting one actually on the song The Jammer. Yes. Uh, I played second trumpet on that one because um, I, I grew up playing trumpet. But uh, Jammer, who was Terry's father-in-law, is his nickname, and we wrote that song basically with him in mind. 
and we had him record like three or four times through just playing over the chain you know playing over the recording and then I went in and I took all the parts and I wrote parts based out of what he played and like rearranged everything and you know wrote horn lines wow that's pretty <laughs> out of, awesome out of exactly what he had played <laughs> now, was that, is that the same guy who was, uh, he would sit in with you guys? Yeah, Very absolutely. often. Yep. I used to see him every show. Yep. So you've been driving Uber? How long have you been doing that for? Uh, for a few months. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. That, I mean, that's got to be good, great, especially for, like, scheduling for being a musician. Oh, erratic schedule of a musician. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. It's, you know, you just go on when I need to. And I've been doing it up in Plattsburgh, and school just came back, so it's much busier now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it. Uh Miss all that food up there. Actually, just had some uh, Romeo chicken pizza. I had a oh, I, nice. I had a, a photo shoot up there not too long ago, and uh, I just like I, I couldn't pass it. On. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I guess I'll go for the uh, regular mushroom. This is probably what would you say like the second best map or first or second best map in this game? Um, definitely yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Good answer. <laughs> Special I event. <laughs> Yeah, either the first or second best map. Um, I would say like the Domino Womp Ruins. Like that one's a really good one. It's like a big one though, so it's like yeah. you can kind of go around and never get a star if like everyone's just keeping up ahead with you. You can get like trapped in spots. But like this one, like it gets it can get heated real quick because everyone is just moving. Mm -hmm. Seriously, and like the one thing that's <laughs> the one downside to this game is it only has four maps. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is that with yeah, everyone? <coughs> um, I feel like there's more in the other ones, honestly. It, okay. it seems strange that there's only four. The last one I played other than this was like Super Mario. Uh, was uh, Mario Party 5. I think it came with like a microphone. It was on the GameCube. Bopping or maybe it was spray. 6. Does my girlfriend know this is on here? <laughs> Bopping spray. <laughs> Bopping. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're dating on? No, I'm a oh, you're hammer, hammer bro. bro. That's right. Okay, cool. Okay, so we have to so, so yeah. we're all working so, together here. So yeah, if it lights okay, up, Okay, so we're trying to it. beat... Diddy. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, come on. All right. Oh, oh we yeah, beat him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we did by like three. Awesome. <laughs> Success successfully made it through right. the first uh, mini game. Yeah, of the you don't want the spirit to beat you either. Yeah, that's no, just, yeah. that's that's worse. Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. So on really Fancy really Balloon awesome. Animals, was yeah. there certain songs that were, uh, that you wrote, wrote yourself, or was it all bad? How, how, like, what was it? The, was it a group effort, or? That was mostly, like, for most of the stuff with Capitals N, uh, it was basically Terry had a thing. Okay. And sometimes he would have a very complex set of chord changes. He'd basically have the skeleton of the song entirely written out, an arrangement Holy and everything. Shit. And he would be like, hey, guys, uh, here's this thing. And we're like, oh, <laughs> all right. This makes it easy for us all. Now we just have to figure out what we're doing <laughs> on, our, you know, on, our per on our end. You know, right. what, what, what my part would be, what you know, Tony's part would be, and you know, stuff like that. That's cool, yeah, man. Too. Yep. <clears throat> So, and then uh, just like, just getting back towards uh, just the video game side of things mm -hmm. with uh, just music, uh, you're a, a huge Umphreys McGee fan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guilty of never seeing the band. <laughs> um, but uh, now, I wasn't too, uh, I didn't know too much about it, but uh, mm -hmm. Humphreys McNess, what exactly yeah. was that that you produced? <laughs> Uh, over the course of like maybe about 10 years, I haven't done one in a while, but um, the last one I did was a few years ago. The last few that I did, they uh, included as like bonus content for albums and stuff that you could oh, download, sick. like you know, put, put the album in and download extra content. Um, and those are all on a SoundCloud page too. But oh, it's okay. basically what it is, is I listen to the songs, I'm like, wow, well, this is sounds this sounds like Mega Man. You know? Yeah. yeah <laughs> and yeah. so uh, and the song in particular that made me feel that way in the first time was uh, Miss Tinkle's Overture. I heard it on the album and I was like, this is something's different about these guys. So I took that song and I did what I had been doing for a long time with like video game music because I I went and transcribed video game music since I was like fifteen. Um, to staff, and basically what I did is I did that to the Umphrey songs, but squished them down into the limitations of what 
a Nintendo sound chip allows you, which is five simultaneous sounds, and only three of them can be like notes. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Wow. So you got only three notes that can play it. You know, which is why a lot of those soundtracks back then have a very particular sound to them because it awesome. was very limited in what you were able to do. <laughs> That's freaking crazy. Yeah. Wow. So there was a white noise channel that a lot of time was used for like symbols and like you know snares sometimes. Uh, in Zelda, when Link swipes his sword, whoosh, that's that's all in the white noise channel. Hmm. Wow! And then, um, and so, but if if something happens and there is white noise in the music in the game, like Link stabs his sword, but there's supposed to be that going in the background with the music, that channel stops to allow for the sound effect, and then it comes back in. Holy so, shit! Yeah, <laughs> that, played, did it take you a long time to make or? Um, the the tracks that I did it used to when I was doing them take somewhere between like two what an hour and a half to two hours per minute of music to like transcribe Holy and have ready crap. properly. So every with one the I would do differently. Yeah, that's insane. Sometimes I would do I would start with just the drums and do the drums for the whole track and then fill in the bass and then I was like okay now it's just the melodies left. Right, and that stuff's like the most you know it's not the simplest but it's the easiest to hear. Okay, so uh, but. You know, sometimes I would just transcribe everything like a minute at a time and then go to the next chunk and then do the next section. Wow. One of them I did from memory, actually, which was really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, the CD's over there, but like, I feel pretty confident. <laughs> and then I went and I checked the song. I was like, okay, this, this is a couple of wrong things, and I fixed them, and then <laughs> okay. I put it out. That's awesome. So with selecting the songs, how did you go about it? What was, what was easy to do or to translate or your favorites? Or? Sometimes it would just be as simple as I went to um, an Unfree show, and one of the songs just particularly stuck out to me that time. <laughs> you know, and I was like, oh, like, I feel like I have to do this one now. That's but, it. Yeah. <laughs> Like after I got to play with them the first time, one of the song I did one of the songs that we did together, oh which I hadn't God. done. Oh my God! with them. Again. Yes. Holy shit! Yeah, it was actually like about ten years ago. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. That must have been a hell of an experience. Where was it? This was in Massachusetts. It was wow. at uh, Calvin Theater in Northampton, Mass. Oh, that so. must have been a fucking thrill of a lifetime. Was, All right, yeah. so I'll count us down: three, two, one. Oh. I forgot who I was. Yeah. <laughs> like, I hate how you have to press a button every time. Yeah, it definitely makes it hard. I'm going so slow. It's been a fucking bet, dude. This is a long pull. Oh, yeah, how yeah this... right? Damn. Oh! <laughs> I like how he does a cool handstand, too. Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. Well, he'll beat the turtle. Wait a minute. You were the turtle. Yeah, I was you're, the turtle. You're, yeah. <laughs> the Donkey Kong beat, Diddy Kong beat me, so. Uh -huh. Not my Wario couldn't sound. keep up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in first, we have Wario. Hammer, uh, Luigi in second, uh, Hammer Bro, and then Diddy Kong. But as everybody mm. knows, once the stars come come along. Yeah, it changes so, everything. Changes oh, yeah. everything. <laughs> That's when it gets barely, complicated. Game yeah. is barely beginning. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bad relationship. <laughs> So here we go. Got hammer, bro. Rolling a two. Oh, now I have to buy this Don't poison this mushroom. Stuff. That is another downside of this map. You have to pay for this. So yeah. losing the coins, because like you'll eventually be able to get two <laughs> coins at once. Mm -hmm. And you mean two stars? Two stars. And once you get up here, up to the top, uh, after you whatever it is set to, it's gonna change the price mm -hmm. to either five, ten, or fifteen per per the star. Mm -hmm. Which that's yeah, that's where it's a pain. Try going for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the reason why I like this guy, this guy, is because he has four six sides. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh I shot my. Head. <laughs> Thank God. I was just yeah, on one of those. The <laughs> Look at me talk. Stick with the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure I also remember this game being the reason a lot of Nintendo 64 controllers stopped working. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> a lot of analog stick, like people would just. Mash oh my god! Into yeah. it. I was thinking when you said that, like, there's people throwing them, but yeah, the analog stick. Yeah. Yep. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Even Those in so uh, Super Mario 64 boss fights. Just like, oh yeah, having to run around <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then grab him from behind. Get the tail going. Definitely. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that they adapted that to the Nintendo DS because like, I didn't... When I had the 64, I didn't have the chance to play at the time. Mm -hmm. But when I had, when I, I like, got the DS for Christmas and like that was one of the first games I got. I was like, oh my god, this is one of my favorite games. Probably, I mean, other than Halo, like, Mar like Nintendo games definitely are like where I've leaned to. Mm -hmm. I didn't really get into playing multiplayer. Only thing really I play now these days on like the major systems is we play Skate 2 a lot. But oh, you, yeah. I mean, you do a decent amount of online games sometimes. Sometimes, yeah, I really like uh, racing games. I'm, I'm really big into, like, the Forza Horizon series. I've had pretty much every one they've come out with. Mm -hmm. It's nice, I like, I like it because it's not, like, the super realistic one. It's not, it's, like, a full simulation because, I mean, like, although those are, like, more challenging, more realistic, it's, like, right. I'm just trying to have some fun when I'm racing. I'm, I'm not Dude. trying to, like... <laughs> Do it in real life. Yeah. We <laughs> <laughs> gotta blast some bombs over here. Take out Diddy Kong here. I'm totally being a waste of space. I feel <laughs> like one. <water. laughs> I'm just gonna stick to this side. Oh, Jesus. Send <laughs> Sending. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Oh, it will take it. <laughs> Kong is oh. not having any luck today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's hard being small, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bet you get coins for high fiving. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting close too, up to the ladder. Ladder. Yeah, we're all up about to, to the get steps. Some stars. Yeah. Standings about. To yeah, change. everybody's gonna be able to afford two stars here. Except for Diddy. Diddy's yeah. Oh, he already. Oh, he did, he you passed it. He couldn't even afford it. He couldn't afford it. <laughs> oh, that's like the shameless sight. Yep. Oh, sorry. The you're walk poor of shame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, I'm up. My that's bad. All you. All right. Well, here. Let me use this real quick. Get back to Diddy. Not trying to start any beefs yet. <laughs> Yeah, it's go. nice when there is a computer player because you can just direct all malice Unleash toward hell. them. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you know you gotta you gotta steal some stars for the win. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Luckily, this oh, map only good. has one location they to steal stars, and, and it's pretty hard to get to. And you're paying mm -hmm. 30, 30 coins a star, yeah. so yeah. it almost makes no sense. But it's so awesome. Oh, doing hammer, this, bro! But... You're getting hammered. Yeah, no, I'm gonna lose some coins right here. Change up. Oh, that's okay. I can afford it. Get myself some stars still. Oh, 27? I like 27. how it says now, watch out for the chain chomp. <laughs> I didn't know that, man, you know? <laughs> feel like that was pretty much this you're gonna. Sucks. You can hold the button oh, and it'll like okay. fill up the balloon, but you don't wanna fill up too much because it'll pop. And if you pop, you get none. I believe. So basically, yeah, you just gotta <laughs> take the five out of Diddy. Five, yeah. That's all you got, I'll take it. Oh, dude, I don't know why I'm keep looking at Luigi. <laughs> Are you usually Luigi? I used See, to I be. I have no idea lot. how big these can go. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, jeez, Luigi's hauling. Oh, 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 oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> wow, Hammer Bro, you just robbed us. It was like Canada. one last click <laughs> in the last second. Exploded. Damn <laughs> You still got one somehow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luckily. So oh, that's okay, all okay. About. So you're gonna land on the one right before and change up the price. What is it at now? I have no idea. I forgot to pay attention. What is the market oh, value? Special event. Well, bam. Oh, oh killer. Nice. All right. <laughs> nice. Wow. The underdog. <laughs> not even the underdog. I no. may have not played this game before, but I played a game or two. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Mr. Ref. So, I mm -hmm. remember when I first heard Mr. Ref mm -hmm. was uh, right. Actually, if I felt like it was right when band pages either started happening on Facebook or just pages started happening. Mm hmm. So Mr. F with like the black and white, almost like mafia logo style, 
and uh, the single coming out was Hedgehog. Yep. That that I when I heard that come out, I was like, oh, that's just awesome. And what was the <laughs> what was the the goal or the intentions going into uh, uh, starting Mr. F? Um, we just wanted to tour, and Tambercoo at that point was unable to continue touring, um, and the guy still wanted to do stuff, but, you know, wanted to keep Tambercoo preserved. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we started a brand new project out of it called Mr. F, three of the guys from Tambercoo, and, uh, went with that, and it was a lot of fun. We all wrote a lot of the music, you know, together, and, you know, Matt would have, like, a little mini drum machine where he's yeah. had beats stored for years that he's made mm. where we just no kind of culled through a lot of material and started building songs around that stuff and oh, that's, <laughs> that's sick cool. yeah and then the album uh what was it? f stands for correct yes awesome yep, that love was... the artwork for that album yep we had the, the back. we had the guy who did a number of consider the source albums i think oh. his name is justin wood we had him do the artwork for oh that cool album. yep that looks awesome, yeah. and um, and we just put out a live album from twenty seven uh, recordings from twenty seventeen, and in that one, uh, our drummer Matt uh, Pickering did the art for. Oh, with, sick! With like a collage, because he does a lot of like collages, like stuff pulled from magazines. He's always exacto knifing stuff out, like, That's trying to find cool. ways for them to fit together. Super artistic. <laughs> yeah, That's absolutely. awesome. I'm happy. Uh, yeah, I'm happy. Uh, Pickering guys uh, still playing music. Uh, Timber Coop, by uh, the first time I ever even seen him, because mm -hmm. right when I met you, that was like the first time I've ever heard an, uh, another jam band other than Fish. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> and uh, so I missed the Timber Coop phase, and uh, mm -hmm. I and you know, and I think I I, I did have an, uh, another opportunity to see them before at Modown 2012, mm -hmm. and uh, fell asleep. Oh, Trying to handle my first right. festival. That's yeah. right. I went with you to that. <laughs> fell asleep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. That I was, was like, like our first see... time really hanging out with you. Yeah. Like, you saw some see dudes. Tambercoo and Aqueous. <laughs> uh, Aqueous played too. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> naive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was a great experience. Didn't know Prime, like, I knew Primus' music mm -hmm. just from, like, playing Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh... And I didn't know it was Primus. I thought it was Primus. <laughs> and like our neighbor had like a pre a pri Primus shirt. A Primus. And like, oh, dude, Primus is sick. He's like, it's Primus. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, <wow>. then. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, that band sucks. <laughs> <laughs> didn't understand that. Like, what? No, they don't. <laughs> Primus sucks. Primus. And that was actually a cool oh, festival too, because they. I was. I correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't. Humphreys and uh, Mo do Dark Side of the some Dark Side of the Moon songs that I think that yeah they did something together that was really cool I can't remember at this point what it was that they did I remember the Humphreys set was cool because they had Stanley Jordan show up with no them. way and yeah I think they had just finished doing a the summer school thing that year and they brought Stanley Jordan who was there to do some workshops and stuff they brought him to sit in with their set and that was awesome that's <laughs> cool it was particularly cool yeah. Social Climbers. Oh, oh, another one of these. Oh, not this one again. We've right. I feel like we never get to, especially <sighs> in a 10 turn. Like, like the great thing about, well, actually, there is no great thing. At least with, like, 10 turns, you know it's going to be an hour. But it almost feels like sometimes throughout playing Mario Party, it's, like, not enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, like, oh, game I, just I prefer, started. like, 15 to 20 turns. So I feel like right around 10, at least for like the other maps, that's right mm -hmm. around when everyone just starts getting stars and mm -hmm. like things get heated and it's like, oh, end game. It's like, oh. <laughs> Here we go. I was doing way better in practice. Pride looks ridiculous. Yeah, this is gonna make for really great footage. <laughs> All right. Uh, how'd you do Sweeping. it? <laughs> Rhythm. Wow, literally. Oh my god. Fucking uh, damn it. He's gotta get the <laughs> the right rhythm down. So coming up for the fall, what are some of the things you got going on? Um, I really don't have much booked right now. It's kind of, you know, looking at an open schedule as awesome. kind of like something to fill in, you know, like a canvas yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Um, I've enjoyed a nice summer off, which I haven't had in about like 10 years, so that's been cool. And uh, looking forward to booking some more of the <clears throat> video game sets, um, awesome. either by myself or with a band, because both are really fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sounds great, too. I think mm -hmm. the first time I actually saw you guys play was before Prima show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, false. Prima's. It was after. after. It was after, yes. yes. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, we opened Downtown Social. As you know, It wasn't even like really ready yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they, they were like, let's do this. That was, yeah, no, because. it was really cool. So so it's not always just the band. You do solo as well. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I actually know way more songs on piano than I do in band form, which is interesting because that's the only kind of music I know, that, I know <laughs> right. like that. Like, I never... You know, I never really learned classical piano and stuff like that. I'm actually kind of learning uh, more conventional piano playing things through learning these songs and having to know how to play a certain style of music to be able to do that by myself. With some, right. You know. <laughs> Not totally. You just, you know, it's always a learning experience and I uh, keep finding more and more things to, <laughs> and to it, learn through through this and it's, it's been really enjoyable. Oh, all right, right. Here oh, we go. going. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Not seconds left. Crank that soldier boy. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's a close Ooh. one. I think we got I it. I think you did it. Oh, my land. Oh, oh wow. my land! By so hair. Close. Jesus. But, so you were talking about how, like, you, you, this has been, like, one of the first summers in a while that you have had some time to just take mm -hmm. a deep breath. Yeah. And, uh, Going back maybe a few years ago, you mm. got in like the in like the, the heart of Mr. Roth. You guys were doing oh, how yeah. many shows a year? Uh, at our max, I think we were about 150 shows in a year. Jesus, <laughs> holy cow! Yeah, we were always out. And you guys were playing everywhere too, yeah. up and down uh, East Coast. Up and Coast. down the East Coast, out in the Midwest, out in Colorado. Awesome. Yeah, that's it. Now in that in that whole uh, span, what was like some of your favorite venues to play, and just some of your favorite things about just playing in Mr. F with the with the guys? I'm just getting to new places, like having days off and being able to explore, you know, certain towns and stuff, yeah. or like, you know, finding out where the cool spot to go hang out just outside, you <laughs> know, like, like a cool watering hole, or like, uh, like an, a nice easy hike for a day off without, you know, overexerting ourselves because it's already pretty exhausting being on the road. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and uh, no, but that's pretty cool though. Like just the thought of, I mean, you've drove, you've driven cross country and. Uh, oh, that is nice, like, mm -hmm. just because you have a destination to the next location, that allows you to check out some things that yeah. normally being, you know, a lot of people, especially mm -hmm. in Adirondacks, stay in the Adirondacks, I'm sure yeah. other places, and, like, you're not going to get that same experience no. anywhere else. The Adirondacks are awesome, but there's also other places that are also awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you basically, yeah. at the end of the day, musicians, freelancers, all creatives all have that same thing where it's, you, you, it's kind of hard to stay put if you do want to reach another point in what your wherever career you want to have, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm, like, learning now, like, especially with just doing a lot more freelance since leaving my job, I uh, just going to festivals by myself, getting used mm -hmm. to that, just, like, working, uh, spend the whole day at the sites, and mm -hmm. just before, you know, it's always great to have a good time and, like, you know, party if you want mm -hmm. to whatever you like to do at music festivals but i mean there comes a time even like when like even seeing fish for me it's like i think i enjoy it more when i'm just clear-minded and just hearing the songs pure and just and not going just you know for just like having a good time and like mm -hmm. giving yourself a reason like being a musician to help out the music scene that you love mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's got to be cool. You must yeah. like have got to know a lot of awesome people in this just northeastern circuit and just oh, yeah. expanded <laughs> even farther. And mm -hmm. and with like the cool. amount of bands that I've gotten to play with too, just like expanding that network has been so awesome. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, what's going on? Changing some extra spaces. bad luck. Oh, bad luck spaces. So this is where you could lose a star. I honestly haven't moved at all. I've been rolling, trying to roll the six die, and uh, I've been stuck in the same position. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I oh! just made it around one time. 
You so bastard. hopefully I can make it around again real quick. <laughs> Stars will make save it us. Right around. Oh, right there too. Oh yeah. Oh, what's up, Luigi? Hey. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, I would try this, but that plus three coin is I, I would get that one and not move. I feel. And change it. What change are you at it. now? Five. Um, I think it's five. I think that's what changed to after I went through. I don't know if anyone oh, nice. went through after me. Yeah. Ooh. Oh no, the ten. That's fine. Hammer bro on a hot streak. Crushing stars. Nice. So what do you got? Five now. Yeah. Fast and slow. <laughs> slow and steady. This is where it changes. The old tortoise in hair. Yeah, literally, he's a turtle. <laughs> Fifteen, oh. why not? Oh man, can I, I won't be there anytime soon. <laughs> <I'm okay. laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, yeah I can it. get I can get it, let's get it. We would test it too. Oh, yeah. okay. Nice. Oh yeah. Ooh, he's getting lifted. Wow, why not just uh skip ahead? Wait. Alright, here we go. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna go for it. Let's see what happens here. Oh. Dismal games. Uh. That's the third. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so what else is fun in Mr. F related uh, news is that I'm getting close to finishing the mixing of the studio album. Oh, uh, awesome. Yes. Uh, we recorded it in September of last year, and uh, it's about done. <laughs> That's sick. I'm about ready to let it go and into the mastering hands. And, so I'm really stoked about that. I'm going to have Anthony from Papadozio do the mastering. Oh, awesome. Yep. Absolutely. Now, are is there any plans going forward with, with having that album out? Or? Um, plans are difficult because Colin currently lives in uh, Denver. Oh, as does far he? As, yeah, as far as like uh, getting together to, to do some stuff regarding that, we've got to plan it appropriately and make sure you know it's the right time and all that. Of course, <laughs> maybe some West Coast tours. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. I'd that be, is nice, like having that same pocket of people from the Northeast mm -hmm. in in the Colorado region. Yeah, exactly. That's, I've never been by it. Uh, what, oh, what's it so like, great. the scene out there? That's music every day, okay. everywhere. Wow. <laughs> there's always something cool going on. Um, and there's also um, an open jam every Tuesday at this place called Local 46 in Denver that's, like, really cool. Like, they live stream it, and uh, they... Like, I was there with a bunch of different musicians that I personally know. Wow. Uh, and didn't get to play with a single one of them because they're just, you know, like, pulling people from a list. Like, you, you play guitar, you, you play keys, you play drums, and they're like, go. <laughs> Holy crap. But it's usually, like, you know, a lot of them are, you know, people that are building their skills or some of, sometimes it's people that are already, you know, they hone their craft and they're in doing the thing, but they just want to go to a jam night and right. play some stuff. There's a couple of towns that I've, like... I've seen a lot of places where it works, but like that's right. one of the ones that really works. Uh, there's another one in Asheville, um, okay. the Asheville Funk Jam. So I think it's another Tuesday thing. Like I remember having gone to that after having hosted an open mic for a long time, and it was like, man, this is like they got to figure it out down there. Yeah. <laughs> You know, now, was, where were you? You were hosting open mic at Gooch, right? Uh, Hot Shots. Oh, Hot Shots. Yep. Okay. And then for a short period of time, I did one at Putnam Den before it remodeled and all that. Oh, right. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hosting an open mic for like eight plus years is something that I really uh, attribute to like being good at playing with others. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Just be, having to, you know, figure out how to play with somebody who's not very good can also be very difficult, <laughs> you know, as opposed to, like, and I use that subjectively, like, there's a lot of different qualities of players out there, but, like, you know, some people that are very good at a particular thing, yada, yada, yada. You gotta find out what that particular thing is and work with it and make sure, you know, everybody's cool and you're, nobody's stepping on toes. And... Of course. <laughs> or, yeah. if, or if there are toes being stepped on, at least I'm not the one stepping on, you know, try, try, yeah. try to avoid that situation. Now, do you do any open mics up in Plattsburgh at all? Or? Um, there's the one at the Monopole every Wednesday. Yep, yep. Um, I go occasionally and you know, Who does sit that down now? bass sometimes. <laughs> nice. Um, the name, dude named Austin Petrushun. Okay. He's hosting that cool. now. Yep. There's a 
Chris Shacklett, who had hosted, moved to Ithaca to play with a band called Blind Spots. Yes, mm. I heard about yep. that. Maddie Walsh and the Blind Spots. All right. Yeah, this is basically just avoid the yep. freaking Avoid jocks. the football players. Yeah. Here we go. Awesome. All right. I wonder what they get out of this. Oh. oh, how did I get hit? Oh, oh geez. Geez. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! Oh, all right. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Well, high fives all around. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Let me get those last stars. So, so who am I going to use this on? Might as well just go random. Sorry, dude. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to lose. <laughs> dude, it's all good. I already went. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, Mario uh, looks pleased about that. He's like, like <laughs> just a little satisfaction. Just a little. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Why not? Goosey. <laughs> oh, you get so punished. Ah. That's the way she blows. <laughs> That's the way she goes. Yeah, Frankie has terrible luck when it comes to Mario Party. I suck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't plan for like what could happen. Especially I just that. plan for that move. And I, I plan to fail. Yeah. <laughs> like oh yeah. How does it feel to be in the driver's seat? It feels it feels normal. It feels right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, fine, no problem. <laughs> Usually what will happen is I'll shit talk or I'll start bragging, be in yeah. the lead, yeah. and then him and then his girlfriend Deanna will literally double team, <laughs> like use every one of their <laughs> one of their items against me and it's uh, much <laughs> deserved. So yeah, I learned yeah. to shut my mouth now. It, it helps. It helps, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, friendships, you know, have been uh, maintained for a little <laughs> time, <laughs> time being here. All right, here we go. Final mini game right. of the episode. So, or crow, look sharp, we're looking sharp. sharp. Kind of, we got a repeat. Another repeat this time. Oh, oh. Dougie Fresh. Five. Frankie C. <laughs> <laughs> bonus stars. Bonus. Everybody's stars. favorite part of Mario Party. <laughs> this is where everything changes. Ooh. First bonus star, rich bonus goes Ooh. to. Who's got the paper or the coins? Who's got the coins? coins that happened to be. Oh, oh. wow! Okay, you pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have this. <laughs> Event. How much has changed? This one might be you too, because I remember you, you stopped on a couple of events like right away. Oh yeah, you got those uh, quick uh, sneak over moves. Oh yeah. In the, in the beginning. Oh yeah. Oh. Wow, oh, both yeah. of you guys. Oh. Right. Are you guys tied? First uh, time? Not we anymore. Were. Oh man. All right, Doug. At least we know who's in first and last. Hammer bro. And <laughs> Hammer bro. Nice. Congratulations, Doug, on Thank winning uh, you, video yes. board games with band members. <laughs> now, Scott, yes. with the new album coming out, where can people find everything? Um, right now everything's kind of decentralized. The website isn't up anymore, um, so we've it'll be on um, a. It'll be announced to all Kickstarter uh, backers from like two back in 2017. We had a Kickstarter for it, and we were hoping to get a van and an album out of it, and it didn't quite go that way. And we got rental vans to cover our gigs for the rest of the year, and ended up recording the album. Okay. So, but I've been doing everything in house because you know there's only so much money that we have to finish that with so um that's gonna all go towards like replication and stuff but uh it'll definitely be announced on facebook hopefully any you know places that want to pick up the story yeah, we'll yeah, put yeah. Up press releases and stuff that's and, awesome let us know yeah. exactly what's going on because we'll totally uh, spread the news as much as we can mm -hmm. and um just want to personally thank you for every contribution you have made into this music scene yeah, everything from like even like like molding our minds into what the scene is and listening to the music and just it's great uh, great to know you Scott and thank Absolutely. you so much thank for you coming so on the much, show. Yeah. 
Make sure to head to mirth-films.com to find all of our latest original video content, Kind of Live, Kind of Living podcast, alternative news, live music coverage, and uh, if you guys have any recommendations on games that you would like to see or bands, bands or band members that you'd like to see on the show, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Board, Board Games, Games with, with band, band members. members. Thank you.